Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today I am going to be going through the new update which did go live for Ark Survival Evolved. This is mainly on PC at the moment but we're also going to be talking about the uh, well I did a video earlier about the top 10 list but it now has closed so I'm just going to show you guys what did officially make it into the top 10 for the brand new creature to come to Ark Survival Ascended um, in uh, well for Ragnarok when the map well when, when the game finally does release which is meant to be end of August. Um, so I will be covering Ark Survival Evolved, updates, news, all of that stuff um, still when any anything comes out. Um, but obviously a lot of stuff is going to be Survival Ascended as we move forward just because it is so close. But I'm never going to leave Survival Evolved. It's always going to be on the channel and I'm always going to be making videos for it. It's my favorite game. And uh, yeah, so just whenever new updates come out, they'll be here. Uh, if you do enjoy today's video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here and uh, let's get in with the new update. So um, this has only come to PC so far um, as always uh, when it's uh, as it always. I, I mean, this is probably a sentence I've said the most in the, my life in every single uh, um, uh, update video. But, you know, an update comes to the PC first. Once it's all good and it's been tested and stuff and it can come to console, it will do late, later on. Um, so basically, not that much, but so it's dismounting a Rhino or Sky Giga will now uh, remember your previous camera view instead of always going to TPV. Added additional locations to the right. By the way, I call it the Rhino, the Sky Giga. I should just probably say that in the video. Um, do you guys call it Rhino? Rhino? I don't know. Um, that enemy turrets. Uh, this, this say that again. So added additional locations on the Sky Giga that enemy turrets can aim for when carrying a character. Um, the Rhino, Rhino uh, resin bomb direct uh, direct hits now correctly to deal their intended damage of 300. Um, reduce the Sky Giga's health scaling by approximately 30%. Um, so it's had a little bit of a nerf. Um, adjusted the scaling of some UI elements to prevent them getting cut off at larger resolutions. Um, structures carried by the Sky Giga are destroyed when cryopodded, and the Sky Sky Giga's pheromone now correctly only drops from male, uh, male Sky Giga's. So that is pretty much the full update of everything that has happened ever since it launched on the 6th of, well, no, the 2nd of June. Um, so PC, uh, so PlayStation and Xbox there. Wait, has there been an... Have they had the update? Oh, they've had the update. I didn't even know that. I thought it was the PC just first. Okay, so the update is actually live on the Xbox and, and PlayStation. Um, so it's just literally what we read through there. Um, and the only difference is they've had fixed a issue disconnecting. So Xbox and PlayStation patches apparently have gone live today. So perfect timing for this video. I was this is mainly just for the uh, for the PC. But there you go. That's the full update of what's going on there. Let's head over now to the final creature submission finalist discussion. So I, the reason I found out it closed is I knew it was closing today in the video I said. I didn't even see that. I just went to sort by and I went to most votes. And I was like, 257? I was like, what's going on? And by the looks of things, the f fluffy jumping spider trank bowler didn't actually make it and it's probably missed out by about three votes. It is. It was very, very close ending. Even the Tylosaurus was very, very close to make it into it. Um, I didn't know that was what I was finding out, which one was going to make it in between. So there was quite a few creatures that got a few, quite a few votes and unfortunately just missed out. Um, so let's head over now to the finalist discussion and show you guys what has made it. So... As we as we saw earlier, the Majungasaurus or the stat reading chameleon has made it. The Gorgonops is here again um, for a, you know, pretty much a, I don't know how many times, five times, six times it's been in a creature submissions, probably literally every single top 10 um, since Wildcard started doing them. Um, the Dire Otter made it. The Nothrosaurus Sea Lizard, which actually won the first round voting, um, is obviously going to be there. Um, the Ark's first prehistoric giraffe made it into the last um top 10 didn't make it into the game and it just scraped the top 10 this time round from the spider um the dreadnoughtus or dreadnoughtus uh, the terrestrial battleship um the sumo hydrosaur has made it the american cheetah the hazard deploying speed demon 
The giant bison has made it again for like a couple of couple of uh, submissions in a row, and obviously in second place was the Giganto Raptor, the return of the nanny. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you are going to be voting for. There are so many great ideas here. I'm not going to be saying, as I mentioned everything, I'm not going to tell you what I'm voting for, where it's going to be. Sometimes people work it out because, yeah, I may talk about some favorites uh, in videos, but. Um, I just like to, I don't want to like, uh, you know, make, make the voting unfair for you. But lit, when I go through it, I, when I, you know, reading through all the ideas, if I were to look through and and if any of these came to the game, I would be pretty happy. Um, I do obviously have a favorite and I nearly said what my least favorite is because there is one that is my definite least favorite, but I wouldn't complain if it came to the game, but I'm keeping it completely quiet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's the finalist discussion. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether we'll hear tomorrow. We we'll probably hear tomorrow, so I can make a video on it um, on the date that we'll find out the creature. I don't know whether they'll probably release the voting on Friday. Um, I don't know. Will they do it on Friday for the community crunch? And then in that crunch, um, sometimes they do it earlier, but because it is obviously only Tuesday or well, Monday today, um, so they'll probably do a the voting in the community crunch crunch you put your top uh, you basically put your favorite at the top your second favorite third favorite fourth favorite fifth favorite sixth favorite seventh favorite eighth favorite ninth favorite tenth favorite or just least favorite um into the list and then after about a week or so um because they're they're trying to get these out and, and sorted as fast as possible there probably won't be a long voting time at all maybe a week at maximum um and then we will find out what is going to be the creature on um, ragnarok so it's going to be exciting guys we're going to have a lot of new creatures to look forward to fazila suit just being one of them obviously in the was it, it was in this crunch wasn't it we found out well we didn't find out but we saw the concept art so this will be the first new community creature winner come on day one with the game um I've seen a lot of people in the community recently saying, um, you know, that because there was nothing on Ark Survival Ascended at the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase, that they're worried there's going to be a delay on, on the game, which is always a chance that can happen. But the reason why I don't think there'll be a delay is because Wildcard needs to make money and also... I just think it would be a terrible thing to do to the community. And I'm not saying they haven't done things like that in the past, but the fact that Arc 2 got delayed and I just... I could see maybe a September delay at maximum, but some people have said December and I really, really doubt it'll be that long, but... I don't know, Wildcard have done all different types of things in the past, so we will see. But that is the full news that you need to know right now, guys, of everything that's been going on. Obviously, we the most recent uh, community crunch was the uh, Ark Survival Ascended structure comparison. Um, it's been eight years of Ark Survival Evolved, the last and final year. Can you believe it? And uh, yeah, the most recent update, which is now live on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Just double check. Yeah, same update still on the PlayStation 2. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to reading your questions of, uh, well, reading questions and also reading what dino you or, or creature you want to come as your top 10 and what you're going to be voting. It'll be fun. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the daily uploads, which are finally returning to the Loaded Crisis channel. Of course, that may mean that the odd day will get missed over time. Um, and I am basically, I've just put together a routine preparing for survival ascended and it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be news videos gameplay you know reviews all of that types of stuff all building up i may even do a short series building up to survival ascended but i'm just i wanted to do it earlier but i was waiting on release date and we still don't have a release date for it. it's really frustrating but it's actually the end of the video drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys then